Hello saxophone players and welcome to the London Saxophone School. My name is Martino Skowakriki. Today we're talking about something really important uh, that can make your sound smoother and more clear and better. And that is, I'm talking about this. And that is the movement of the thumb on the octave key. Okay, this is really important. Now, look, I'm gonna show you. The proper position of the thumb is this. So it has, it has to rest on the on the thumb resting here okay roughly on this part here because you basically want to have your thumb ready to play and ready to press the octave key anytime you want okay what happens normally well, with students with beginner students um, some intermediates as well is that they tend to keep it here so when you need to press it they go like like that you have to go from here to here so you're wasting a lot of energy a lot of time precious time that you need there's a lot of flying around okay look um, I'm just gonna play C to high D see my thumb is here pressing and depressing uh, but it's just shadowing the key if I keep it down here look what happens There's a very slight accent on the second note, on the D, that you don't want in there because it's that's gonna create like an extra accent that it's not in there. So if you're looking for a, a very nice legato, and but you have this stupid thumb moving with so much um, aggressiveness, it's not gonna happen. So remember, keep it here keep it here. But if you're noticing that your thumb is already doing this for some reason, um, there's a very cool thing that you can do and it's this. Get somebody to tape your fingers. So get some tape and, and tape it, okay? So your awareness improves and remembers and you remember what the thumb needs to do until it just comes naturally um, after a while. The thumb movement is something that has to be really um, thought about. So have fun and see you again in the next video.